All right, there's a lot going on here, so let's jump right in. The first thing I want to do is target uh, the open G notes with a fun little riff. Uh, it starts out like this. And what I'm doing there is deliberately hitting root notes of chords that are going by. Starts with a G chord. And I'm going to play this sort of open, I'm thinking open G major a lot. So after I do that little hammer on from the uh, D, E, D, D, E, D, F sharp, G, and then I play the open third string G. Then I slide into the second fret E and do the same thing on the fifth string that targets the D note. So it's like a really just telegraphing it. And out of that lick, I'll do a slide again to the E, D, A, B, C. It's actually B, A, C. I do a little pull off. So one more time, that little beginning intro part. Now that takes me right to the C chord. That harkens back to the overview the, uh, lesson that we did earlier. And that's right from a C chord. Walk up that line like that. That's that major pentatonic idea we talked about earlier. So as I walk up, it sounds like my girl or something like that. And I think about that stuff as it's going by. So from this C on the third string, fifth fret, I walk it up and just kind of think about C major pentatonic there. And I finish it off with that little sort of bluesy major minor pentatonic idea. Then what I do is I walk the thirds or the sixths down. Remember we talked about that. I'm thinking this, I'm thinking G, there's my root note. That's my line right there. Take that down a whole step, because now I'm going to get uh, this A note against this F, so I get almost like a nine bluesy sound. I could also do that, it'll be more major sounding. So again, that's going to be here, down a whole step, then here's a, a G and an E. Now when the D chord comes around, I can take that same idea, make D my root, have F sharp, that's my third on the bottom, and I can play it chromatically like that to approach the third I'm sorry, the fifth and the third. So the fifth would be the A, F sharp's on the top there. So from that C chord, it outlines the chords perfectly. So now when we play a little single line idea, that's gonna take me from G to D. Check this out, major and minor pentatonic. time.
that weaves itself in and out of major pentatonic by adding major thirds. That's more of a minor pentatonic sound. Right there, I weave that major third in again. Set myself up for the D, that's the next chord. It's basically the same thing I did for C in the previous part of it. Now over the C chord, I play that little double stop idea. Lots of times I'll slide into it too. Because that kind of gives me almost like a rougher bluesy sound. And that all goes by really quickly, so it works pretty well. So slowly. If you're thinking of that as your C, this is a lot of great stuff here. All double stops, second and third string. And from there I walk it down chromatically, G, F sharp, F, slide in from the E, uh, sorry, from the D sharp to the E, and land right on the C. Time, three, four. And then from there we take stock bluegrass idea, open G major pentatonic. Only thing that's different is the minor third into the major third. almost the entire part. Then what I do is I weave into the major pentatonic here. And as I get to here, I shift over and I play E, D, and then end it on a G. I like to give it the real sort of blues swing sound. That, that is, permeates my playing all the time. I hear the bluegrassers and country players really do it well, so I like to try to incorporate it to my style. And it's a little bit of a bluegrass cheat for you. If you've never played bluegrass, or somebody hands you the guitar in the jam and it's this kind of vibe, now you'll have some ideas. You'll have sixths, you'll have playing off of chord tones, open G major ideas, uh, lots of fun stuff. All right, so when you're done uh, picking and grinning on this one, move on to another example.